Hello, I'm Valerie, and I'm back to do another haul. This is a collective haul featuring things from, I'm looking around to see what I've got, Walmart, Ollie's, Harbor Freight, and maybe Lowe's. I think that's what all I've got in here, and that's what I'm going to do today. So the first thing that I got, and I'm going to try to do this in order by store, but some of the stuff is mixed up, so if for some reason... It jumps around a little bit. I do apologize. Um, I've been collecting this stuff. and So I guess I'm just going to start. I don't know why I gave you that big old long explanation. But anyways, the first thing I got was this little purse. And I got this on clearance at Walmart. The last time I was there, they had a few left. But I don't know what your local Walmarts will be like. Oh, As you can tell, I already used it. I've got a, a lip balm in there. And then it's got a spot in the front for a cell phone. Oh, see, ticket stub. Um, but I got it, and there's a little pocket in the back. But I got it to wear, like it's a crossbody bag to wear to festivals and music events. However, I wasn't thinking at the time it's not quite big enough to fit my camera in it, so I don't know how often I'll actually get to use it for that. Mm, I'm just setting stuff out of the way. Okay, the next thing I got is a battery-operated spray bottle fan. This is good for music festivals, once again. In another haul that I did, I got a version that I thought was battery-operated, and it was hand pump. And when I saw it was hand pump, I went ahead and got this uh, battery-operated one, but I'll use all of them. My back is hurting me really badly today. If you see me wiggling, it's because I'm struggling with my back. I got this Glitter Tulip Dimensional Fabric Paint in Diamond, and this is for a craft I'm doing. Some of this stuff is crafting stuff. I got these Contact Lens Lubricating Rewetting Dry. Let me try that again. <laughs> Contact, Contact Lens Lubricating and Rewetting Drops. Um... I like to wear my contacts when I go to concerts or festivals. It's just, you know, better view. You can see better. The next thing I got is this Sheer Envy Blur Selfie Approved Soft Focus Primer from Hard Candy. And I used to get the Sheer Envy from them. And it's in different packaging, so I don't know if it's just been repackaged or if it is a completely new like product but either way I really the hard candy works for me so I'm hoping that this does too the next thing I got is this deep onyx tattoo studio 36 hour eyeliner I like to use more of a pencil eyeliner on my bottom on my bottom brow or on my bottom lash line. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm mixing up things. I got this blackest black, great lash, lots of lashes with the little brush because that's really good for your lower lashes and it's really good for flicking out those corners too. Um, those are just a few little makeup items that I've needed to restock. Uh, a couple of things like this eyeliner I haven't tried before. I just needed a crayon eyeliner that would last a long time and I just got through using one that I'd gotten in a birch box so I had to replace it and it was a little sample well it was a medium sample I guess deluxe sample is what you call it it wasn't full size but it was several inches and I had that sucker for a while and I can't remember the brand but okay let me set those aside because that's actually from Lowe's um I got this spray glitter iridescent um, glitter and sealer in one and this is for like I said once again it's for projects that I've got going on and hopefully at some point I'll either do like a haul of things I've made or show you what I've been making with some of these items I got some Milani eyeshadow primer I've never used this kind I've seen some youtubers swear about it and say it works for them and I'm all about um, some more inexpensive stuff if I can find it. I have one that's, like I said, left over from a birch box or an Ipsy. 
that I'm using still, and it's sure, I'm sure it's higher end. I don't really know what the brand is, but I've been using it, and it's fine, but I'm almost out, so I got that to try. And the reason I have to buy this stuff is because I canceled my birch box and my Ipsy. I wasn't getting enough stuff that I was using consistently. So a lot of a lot more of the stuff that I was getting was going to waste and or I was giving it away. So I stopped my subscription. Okay. Need some more of those. Just some elastic. This is going to be used to make a table skirt, a couple table skirts and some tutus. I'm going to be vending at a festival at the end of summer, so I'll make some tutus for that. I'm trying to separate out the stuff that are from different stores that were down in the Walmart bag. This is kind of boring, but some just some regular old cardstock for printing. A paper cutter to cut said cardstock. <laughs> And some Ziploc space bags. I have a little hand pump that works for these that I got somewhere else, but it works for these too because it's kind of a standard size. But when I go camping in the summer, I put my some of my camping decorations in this, and then you know I'll take my little hand pump and suck it out. And yes, I know a vacuum works, but the reason I use a hand pump is because. I didn't want to have something that I could suck down at the house, and then when I got to the campsite, I could no longer get it back to the small size for travel home, because then what's the point? All right, I guess we will move. Oh, no, this is Walmart. I got this package of bubbles for festival season. I know that's a big glare, but I'm sitting right in front of a window. So, for festival season, um, for some kiddos and adults. The Total Temptation Mascara, this is, I guess, new for Maybelline. It says Soft Dense Lashes. There was another kind that was, it wasn't Soft Dense Lashes. It was Something Something Lashes, and I don't remember what it was. I wanted the Soft Dense Lashes. So I got that. Okay. The next thing I got is actually from Lowe's, and it's these dowel pens. I'm missing a thing of them, but I'm sure they're floating around here in one of these bags. These are for an art project I'm going to use. This is basically what I'm going to do. And this one's off because I hand cut it with a dowel. That's why I got the pins. But I'm going to use this as a glitter tattoo stamp. And I have these little wooden, they're called scrapbooking confetti or they're different things. Anyways, I'm going to take these and make them into stamps for glitter tattoos. And that's what those are for. Okay, the next thing I got, we're moving on to another store now. And there's only two things from this store. And this is from Family Dollar. And this is the Skin Illuminating Enhancer Light Reflection Drops from LA Colors. And I got the gold, liquid gold, which I've already opened. And this one is the blah 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 because I can't see it. It's lit, but what's the light reflection reflection drops? Liquid gold. It's lit is the name of this one. It looks kind of like a bronzy color. Let's I'll just uh, swatch the gold one here real quick. And it's you've seen these. All the brands are putting not all the brands, but brands are putting out. It's like a liquid, intense highlighter. I don't know if you can even see that. I say it's intense. But yeah, the problem is, is I've got really, it might have been better to show the bronze one because I've got yellow tone skin. So anytime I try to put a gold in anything on, it kind of almost blends in with my skin tone. So, but I'm going to use that to drop in some lotion and kind of make a, an illuminating body lotion. Okay, the next store is Harbor Freight, and there's only a couple things from here, too. And that is the, this is a 25-piece storage box system. And it's a box, and it's got little or containers in it. And I'll either to use these to store some of the rhinestones that I hauled in a previous haul or to put some of my glitters in. I'm not really sure yet. 
it'll be one of those two things. I've got two of those. And the last thing is this um, 100 foot glow in the dark poly rope. And I'm going to cut my guy lines out of this and then I'm going to sew my bunting onto it. So it'll be glow in the dark and there'll be flags on it. Okay, the last place I got something from, and this is the last store that's going to be in this haul, is Goodwill. And the first thing I got is this Nerds Roll Cup. And the story behind this is, is I got one of these for my daughter and I broke it. And then when I went back to get her one, the store was sold out. So I found one at Goodwill, so I got it to replace. Um, the next one is just a bag of maracas. They're still in the packages. I got those for $1.99. It looks like there's five or six of them. And those are going with my festival stuff for the little, for the, you know, that I'm putting together. I'm putting together like a, a goodie downtime or board kind of bag. And then I got this little case. It's got zippered pockets. It was $1.99. Um, these things are depending on the size between that's a 10 and 25 bucks on Amazon. I haven't looked up this particular one and I got it for $1.99 and I don't have a specific use for it yet. I've got a couple things in mind, but nothing concrete. Um, if you've made it this far, thank you for watching my haul. Like it if you feel the urge to and subscribe if you would like. I could use all the subscribers I could get. Thanks for watching. Bye.